What are the top tips for beginning genealogists? I asked all the professionals at Roots Tech 2023. Interview your relatives. Good one. Good. That is the number one mistake that I see people making is that they have not pursued the oral history and the stories that are known in the family. They head off to the records too quick. All right, here's the question I'm asking all the professionals. Okay. What is your number one tip for beginner genealogists? Write down your sources. Write down where you got your information. It doesn't have to be an official source. I just did a video on this. It doesn't have to be an official source. You just need to write down, I know it because Grandma Georgette told me so, or whoever. That's my big tip. There you go. What is your number one tip for beginning genealogists? Ooh, my number one tip for beginning genealogists. Mm, that's tough. Ambush video, right? <laughs> All right, Jared, you're on the hook. What is your number one tip for beginning genealogists? Oh gosh, that is a serious ambush question. <laughs> um, I think my number one tip is to try to focus on details as you're starting out. To as you're as you're going through and you're learning these new records, getting used to new records. When you find a new record, don't just kind of look at it quickly, but look at the details. Try to see what is available because sometimes folks just jump through records, especially if you get it on Ancestry, it'll give you the index and you don't click on the picture. But if you click on the picture, learn the details and even better, learn the context of the records. Not only can you analyze the records much better, but then it can help you further down the line when some little piece in that one record correlates with another record you find and because of that small detail, now you've actually connected things, so. Excellent. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Honestly, I would say take it slow. Don't make too big of a jump. You know, be, be kind of methodical about working your way back. You don't want to find somebody as an adult in the 1950 census and then immediately jump back to try to find him as a child in 1900 or something like that. Just take it slow get to know the person because the more that you know about a person the more you can identify them and build that sense of identity that's really going to help you when you find records so you know that that's actually the person you're looking for what is your best number one tip for beginning genealogists education Education. education. I really think it's education because we do so many crazy silly things when we first start out. We create our own brick walls and if we just get some education we can start out correctly. As a matter of fact I'm giving this lecture tomorrow morning about becoming a, a professional genealogist and that's one of the key points that we're hitting is education. Get your education so you know what you're doing um, and then and then you don't have to keep going back redoing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the genealogy world is full of people that are kind and want to work with you and want to help you. And so don't be afraid to reach out and ask somebody to help you because we're all here and we, we root for everybody. You know, we want everybody to do well. We want everybody to find find their family. Uh, first tip, uh, interview the living people first. That's a good one. Very important while they're still here. Your oldest people by generation. There you go. All right, your number one tip for beginning genealogists. Test the oldest generation first. If there is anyone in your family who is more, who is older, an older generation than you are, you need to get them DNA tested. Great tip. All right, what is your number one tip for beginning genealogists? Have fun. There you go, that's a good one. I think that's the best tip I've got, is ask the questions that you wanna know the answers to and enjoy the discovery process. All right, I have one more tip for you. This is from a gal who is not a professional genealogist, but had taken one of my tips and gave me a little testimonial while I was at Roots Tech. So I wanted to share that with you as my final tip for beginning genealogists. Hey everybody, I'm here with Joyce. And she was just telling me something about research notes. So, you know, I advocate all the time to do research notes and how it'll change your life. Joyce, tell them what you just told me. I dropped doing my 
uh, family history for over 20 years, started back into it, found this wonderful individual. <laughs> You're so kind. And that's she, not what I asked you to talk about. <laughs> absolutely phenomenal teacher, and she recommended research notes. And I now am a convert to doing research notes. I'm taking one direct line ancestor and starting putting everything into research notes and I have found more things that I didn't realize I had until I did that. So she's converted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Joyce. You so welcome. there you go. If you're not into doing research notes, uh, check out some of my videos on research notes because they really will change your life. They do. Thank, Thank you, you. You're welcome. All right, well, we clearly were having fun with this, but here are the takeaways from all of those answers. Write down your sources, focus on the details, click on the pictures, and correlate your evidence. Take it slow, get to know your person, interview your relatives uh, so that you have an oral history, interview the oldest first, get your education, have fun, enjoy the discovery, take research notes, and uh, don't be shy about asking for help and test the oldest generation first uh, for DNA. So there you have it. Uh, all of the takeaways from all of the professionals and more uh, at Roots Tech. So I hope that was helpful. There are more research note videos on the screen for you now uh, for your binge watching pleasure.